Well, welcome back to another episode of Luke Automotive Garage. This is a little bit of a different episode. Today we're gonna to focus on alignments and suspension setup. It doesn't matter whether or not you're in a big lifted truck, a normal street car, a smashed on the ground import ride. Alignment and suspension is incredibly important. It doesn't matter how much power you make, if you can't get it to the pavement, it's not gonna get you anywhere. If you can't go around a corner, it doesn't matter how fast you are, you're not gonna get there. So what better ride to illustrate this point than, than Billy Hoskinson's Street Race Channel S10. So in a street car, you have caster, you have camber, and you have toe. Well, in any car, you have caster, camber, and toe. Those are your three main geometry changes. Yeah. To explain what that is, we're gonna talk with Rich. He's the wizard of the alignments. And he's gonna walk you through what exactly that is, and why it's important, and specifically, what's important with a drag strip vehicle. Caster and camber are important parts of any alignment. Um, street cars, you're gonna use a lot more aggressive negative camber for running into corners. On a straight line drag car like this, you're going to stand your tires up. Pretty much you want zero camber. You don't want positive or negative camber. And you want as much caster as you can possibly get. I doubled the caster on this car and I'm pretty sure Billy's going to notice a, a, a really good improvement in his road stability running down the road. Your caster is your relationship of your lower ball joint and your upper ball joint. If you have positive caster, you've got your upper ball joint is farther back than your lower ball joint. If you have negative caster, it's kind of like a, uh, a caster wheel on a grocery cart flopping around and there's no stability. So when you roll your positionings, your positions of your upper and lower ball joints back, it gives you more stability running down the road. So camber is your, the stance of your wheel. The amount they're tilted in or tilted out. So positive camber, your wheels are tilted out. Negative camber, your wheels are tilted in. We use a lot of negative camber on road course cars because when you, when you go into a turn, it actually stands that outboard tire up and makes it plant flat. On a straight line drag car, you don't want any camber. You want it as straight up and down as possible so that you're right on the center line of the tire. In this, you're not making turns, so you don't need camber. It puts the smallest amount of tire possible on the ground with zero, zero camber. Your toe in, toe out, like I was saying with your uh, bump steer kit, these are towed in right now. Toe out is going out like getting ready to go into turns. We actually tow out some of the street cars um, a very little bit, but it, it makes them ready to, as soon as you put an input into the wheel, they, they start turning. On this, I did a, just a touch toe in just for a little bit of stability, but I did it as, as, as little as possible. Basically, I'll get your feedback as to whether you like it or not. If, you, if it feels good to you, then we'll leave it alone. If you think it's doing something funny, we'll, we'll tweak it one way and have you test it. Tweak it, and tweak it the other way and have you test it and have you tell us which one you like the best. We're talking 
hundredths of a degree that I'm cha making changes in, so it's very min minimal stuff, but you'll, you'll be able to feel a difference. So I'm wrapping up the alignment on Billy's pickup here. I uh, stood up his camber. I greatly increased his caster for stability at speed. Um, then I set his toe with just a hair toe in. Uh, we're going to be updating his rod ends the next time he's in. This, this time around I was able to kind of look the truck over, get a couple ideas for a couple things. Uh, we'll add a uh, bump steer kit to it, which should help, and his tie rod ends have a little bit of play in them, nothing to, that's unsafe, but they definitely show some wear, so we're going we're gonna to replace his rod ends as well. Um, now we're just going to mount up front tire because he picked a nail up in one of his front tires and then he'll be ready to take this thing out and do what he does with it. There you go. It's, uh, it's straightened up. I think you'll have noticeable improvements in how it handles on the, on the track. I can already notice it, it returns the center a lot better and it, it seems to steer a little bit easier too. So, cool. Yeah, make some runs with it. Tell me what you think. Make some metal notes of what you feel and if you want changes made we can, we can make adjustments and fine tune it. But I think without my 220 in the passenger seat it ought to drive really well. Yeah, it should be good. <laughs> we'll come back and uh, we'll get that bump steer kit put on here soon. Yeah, we'll do the bump steer, new inner tie rod ends, pretty much set it up the same as what it is unless you have things you want done differently, but I think uh, I think you're going to like it. I appreciate it. Man. Cool, man. Really you bet. It's been great. Be safe out there. Have fun. So, uh, there you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. We'll see you next time.